How's it going everyone? My name is Mateo De Carmo and as you can probably already guess, today I'm going fishing. I've never taken my boat out on the water in the winter. I've never been out on the water in the winter. So today's gonna be more of an adventuring mission, finding new spots, marking new spots, and overall just having a good time. There are a bunch of fish that are out of season right now, so we're gonna be very careful with what we keep, but I'm hoping to bring home at least one fish with me tonight so I can cook some dinner. If you love fishing content, go ahead and subscribe because I got a lot more coming. And without further ado, let's go fishing. Made it to the spot. Got some good weather. Cheers, brother. Cheers. You got it? Hell yeah. Oh, rockfish. Scoping? That's scoping. First fish on the boat. Pretty sure that's a Come on, you got it. You got it. Come on, baby. You got it. Hey. What do you think it is? I almost felt like a howie at first. It just like it was like attached to the bottom almost. But now it doesn't feel like one. Yeah, it's a sculpin. Yeah. Yep. Dude, that's another fat that's a fatty, dude. On the live bait again. Oh, Alex, you got your first fish. Dude, whatever this is. Nice, how is it? Good old Howie. <laughs> oh yeah. Nice dude. It's fucking tight. You can see all the baits swimming everywhere. We don't know what it is though. You think it's Max? And Alex with another one. What do you get this time? Might be a howie. That's two in like five minutes. Okay. I'm there if you need it. Mine's getting hit. Sculpin? Big old sculpin, yeah. Dude, that thing is a monster, bro. It's blue on the inside. Is it a link cut? No. No, it's not. Nice, brother. Yeah, That's what we're talking about. Dude, it's so pretty. Look at the blue. Oh, I can't even see it. what it is. That was as soon as it fucking dropped down, hell yeah. Nice. Just change, the, change that leader and you're on, dude. 
You ain't skunking now, boy. You ain't skunking now, boy. So we're approaching 4:30. Alex is currently at one one sand bass. He got one halibut, but it was one inch short and one cabezón out of season. Had to release him. I'm currently at three sculpin only. Sun's starting to go down, so we're gonna try to load up the boat just a little bit more before we leave, and we'll go from there. Hopefully, some more sculpin. Hopefully, in Halley. Hopefully, I mean anything we can keep at this point. So fast forward to the next day. I got the fish already all cleaned up. I would have recorded, but it was way too late by the time we got back, so I had to cut them. If there's anything I'd say about cutting sculpin, make sure you don't get poked by those spines. Those spines are brutal. From what I've heard, it's super, super painful. They are venomous, but as long as you avoid the spines, you can fillet like any other fish. But I'm in the mood for some fish tacos. I want some fish tacos. I'm gonna make them, so this is what we're gonna do. So these are the sculpin fillets. This is all three of them right here. One thing you'll notice, I can't even tell if you can see it on camera, but it's so white, it's almost per like translucent but usually that's a good sign of good meat. But first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna chop these up into pretty much fish finger sized fillets. They don't have to be too small, too big. Just enough to fit inside the shell and easy enough to eat in pretty much one bite. After the fish is all chopped up, we're gonna set the oil, get it going. Let it start heating up. This is gonna be my flour mixture. I got flour salt, pepper, and lemon pepper in here. This is the egg wash. And at the last step, you're just gonna throw it into some breadcrumbs. After that, straight into the frying. So now that we got all of them nice and coated, it's time to just throw them straight into the oil. They look like chicken nuggets, I can eat them like that, but let's not do that. What we're gonna do is just take them in. I like putting onions inside of the oil to add just a little more flavor. Now we're just going to start putting as many as we can without crowding the pan. Never want to crowd the pan. Okay. That looks freaking good. Time for the best part. Time to make tacos. I'm going to keep it simple. Go straight with fish. After we got the fish, I'm going to take some of my sauce that I made, drizzle it all over the top. And the beans right on top. This is queso fresco. Top. Then top it off with some avocado, fresh off the tree. Last ingredient, I'm gonna try it's crema mexicana. I'm just gonna drizzle that lightly on top. I'm so excited, I gotta try it right now. In the kitchen still. Can't even make it to the dinner table. But let's see, should be good. That's a fish taco. I can eat this all day. I'm speechless. I just want to keep eating. I gotta go sit down and finish these tacos because they're too dang good. I, I, I'm speechless. I, I haven't lost words. I don't know if it's the fishing or what it is, but I'm feeling very hungry. So I'm gonna go eat these fish tacos. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I got a lot more fishing coming, whether it's just fishing, whether it's eating, whatever it is, a lot more fishing coming. So thank you for watching. I gotta go eat these tacos and I'll see you in the next one.